this video won't have any controversy in it. Um, you may have noticed these thumbnails are larger. I went in in the flyout menu, this hamburger menu right here, down to panel options, and I just changed my thumbnail to the next larger size. And um, I also have been tucking away the adjustments and then leaving notes here. That's kind of a workflow difference. But when I save this file, and I'm going to, th this is an older file. I chose one of the older files on purpose just so I could um, show you the the new workflow on something old. So I'm going to do save as, shift command s, and then change the name of this file. I'm just going to add demo to the end of it and save it in the same place where you notice these files are all, we've got versioning numbers and um, that the Illustrator files, the Photoshop files, the names of the files all correspond to a workflow. And you notice that this bottom layer says from 01B, and this is 01C. So this is the third layer stack from the original pixel grid um, image that was generated. But now we're talking about saving a, and you notice we didn't get that maximize compatibility dialog box. Now we've saved this file. Saving a flattened version involves a little risk because you can overwrite this file if you're not careful. So what I'm going to do, this uppermost layer has a blend mode on it. And if I flatten this, you know, will everything be preserved? The smart way to work is Shift Option Command N and then E to give us a new layer, merge everything on it, and then we can come up to the flyout menu, flatten the image. And if you get a dialog box that says, hey, do you want me to discard hidden layers? It means you had visibility off on one or more of the layers. And you just click yes. And then at this point, I'll go ahead and um, just unlock that. And then it's important now we save as. Don't save. Save as. Shift Command S. Don't save this file because we lose all our layers. This is Danger Will Robinson. And then we've got this demo file, and this is the flat version of this particular file. Now, why did we do that? There's two reasons. Number one is this gives us the raw data in a PSD file, so it's saved at maximum um, but we're saving as much detail as possible because when we save a JPEG, we're going to lose um, information. So let's come back and we'll talk about a new way to resize images and save them.